All right, your voice, your vote, a powerful new challenger entering the race to oust in battle to East County Congressman Duncan Hunter. Former Congressman Daryl Issa is expected to announce he'll run for the 50th district seat at a news conference tomorrow. Our 10 News reporter John Horn is joining us now. And John, this kind of changes everything. We have heard rumors of this for months now, but tomorrow it will all come to fruition. Congressman Daryl Issa will hold a news conference in El Cajon where sources tell us he will announce he's taking aim at the spot in Congress Duncan Hunter has held for a decade. Former Congressman Darrell Issa caught many by surprise in 2018 when he announced he wouldn't seek re-election in the 49th Congressional District, which takes up coastal North County. He said this to ABC News in January of last year. I'm old enough to know it's time to go and young enough to know that uh, I still have plenty of energy left to do something productive. Issa served the 49th for almost 20 years, but nearly lost to Democrat Doug Applegate in 2016. The district was transforming from red to blue with weekly protests outside ISIS Vista office. It's love, not hate. That's what makes America great. But the same can't be said one district over, the 50th, which encompasses most of East County up into Temecula. The 50th is really the one that's still considered a Republican slash conservative district. It's the area Congressman Duncan Hunter has represented for almost a decade, previously thought to be invincible. But everything changed in August 2018 when federal prosecutors indicted Hunter and his wife Margaret on felony campaign fraud charges. Hunter narrowly defeated Democrat Amar Kampanajar in November 2018, but is set to stand trial in the months leading up to the March 2020 primary election. If he's convicted of even one of the 60 counts of felony counts, etc., all those other candidates are perfectly positioned to perhaps go to the top of the heap. As it stands, a number of well-known Republicans have entered the race to unseat Hunter. Sources tell 10 News that upon ICE's announcement, four candidates will drop out of the race and give him their full endorsement. I asked Democrat Amar Kampanajar for his reaction to the news today. He told me, let the Republicans in fight. He is focused on the voters. Now, Congressman Hunter was in D.C. today and not available for comment. Four other candidates dropping out if ISA goes in. Wow. Uh, yeah, we'll have Carl DeMaio, mm -hmm. Daryl Issa, Duncan Hunter. Those are the three big ones. State Senator Brian Jones as well. Mm -hmm. And then Amar Kampanajar on the other side as the Democrat. Interesting race. John. Oh, we'll follow it. All right. Thank you, John.